Hey, what up, YouTube family? You already know what time it is. We had a request for me to react to the Woos versus the Chos battle for Brooklyn. And so I'm bringing y'all that reaction today. Before I get into it, we got the Bible verse of the day. But before I get into that, if y'all like the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, get in the comment section, let me know what y'all want me to react to next. So the Bible verse of the day comes out of Psalm chapter 46, starting at verse 7. It says, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord, what death, desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear asunder. He burneth the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. That's fire, Colette. Take it away. Is that pop? Pop smoke? With that takedown of accused gang members in Brooklyn, 21 arrests in what's been called a reign of terror that left two people dead and four others hurt. The two street gangs that I'm referring to in this case are called Wu and Cho. Woo! Deep. Hold up. Hold up. Are called that's one two three four five six seven by three that's 21 and eight y'all look bro i say this all the time look they got three three shorties in there it look yeah three shorties in there bro girls be on the same time as dudes bro maybe not as many girls but girls still be banging like dudes do and show they're actually umbrella groups each consists of a number of other loosely affiliated gangs that right together they come together basically to fight each other hi what's up everybody we gotta talk about the brooklyn drill scene that's been heating up everybody knows the woo because of pop smoke, pop smoke and right of fabio for who's been on double xl to fans the woo is a rap collective but in brooklyn it's one half of this brutal war for territory that's been going on between the woos and the chokes and this has been escalating so much that two weeks before pop smoke was killed nypd took down 34 woo and cho members in brooklyn Ooh. after following them for two years and building a case I'm telling you bro feds do not play Fabio, the woos managed to take control of the music scene in new york the brand was getting worldwide recognition a lot of the a and r's and the labels from brooklyn had direct ties to the woo and it got to the point that even the biggest cho rappers when they were invited to radio stations were forced to rap over woo beats yeah bro. that's disrespectful bro you can't yeah I, I i heard something about that how um i forgot which which rapper it was but he went onto the radio station and they uh they wanted him to freestyle to his enemy's beat bro that's disrespectful you can't you can't do that like there's a level of respect that you you have to have bro otherwise you know you could create a problem for yourself we in brooklyn oh see y'all flex playing oh no we run this shit though Giddy shit, bro. But with Pop Smoke's murder, the playing field evens out. The Chos are getting more and more disrespectful as they grow in numbers. You got people like Coach the Ghost, who's Pop Smoke's right. direct rival, signing to Gucci Mane immediately after Pop Smoke was killed, releasing diss tracks poking fun at his death, with Wu rappers sending shots back at him, burning Cho flags and fitteds in their music videos, basically as a declaration of war. Which I am not for. Fuck coach, which I drop Chili right on the top, so. All this has made what song is that? New York with the last hey yo, comment down below what song that is. I'm gonna react to it. Promise you. If I get a comment on on the song name and the artist, I'm gonna react to it. A couple months escalating during the pandemic, shootings doubled and murders are up by fifty percent. That's sad, bro. We're gonna get into all this, but before we do, check out my song of the day. This is my guy Millie's. Let's go. Racked up in my city, I feel like the maze, maze. Cause I can tell them boys chill, I can tell them slay. Eh, we skipping that, that. sorry. If you want to rap in New York, we skipping you it. attach yourself to one of the larger movements that's going on in the city. That's either Wu or Cho, and they do not get along. It's two umbrella groups with different sets from different gangs in them. That's the thing, like, um, like, uh, what was I about to, what was I about to say? I remember I saw somebody, I think it was Rico Reck was talking about um, how the same thing goes on in Chicago where like you have, uh, you'll have a homie that's uh, from a different set. He claims something different, but you guys ride together because you guys share the exact same enemy. So it's like, 
if you have like four or five different sets, right? All have a, uh, a common enemy in other sets that you guys unite under a different a different name in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like you guys are all um, multiple gangs under one gang name, and it's like what they're saying with the uh, with the woos and the chosen. I'm I, that's the best I I kind of can't explain it off the top of the head, but um, but just like you saying, it's an umbrella group of different gangs under one gang going against an un another umbrella group of different gangs, right? So the enemy of my enemy is my friend type. You know what I mean? And what Rico Reckless was saying in the video is like, your best friend, like, you bet it's not just because, oh, just because you're a crip, every single blood is your enemy. No. It's more like, um, like, you could have grown up with this dude and y'all still gonna be cool, like, even though he's a blood, but you know, never mind. I, I, I don't I don't even know how to explain it deeper. You guys get over and watch that video. And but just know it's an umbrella for several set, years right? now, lots of viral videos of people getting run up on, shootings in traffic, stabbings, and of course, diss tracks over drill beats. Only in New York can you have Fabio Foreign, a crip, surrounded by bloods, yelling GDK in a music video. Right. See? That that's exactly what I'm talking about. So he he just he just explained it. He he kinda just explained it, right? So you see how how he just said how you have Fabio Foreign who's who's uh I think he said it was a, a crit. This tracks over drill beats. Only in New York can you have Fabio Foreign, a crip, surrounded by blood, yelling GDK. GDK okay, music. yeah. See what I'm saying? Because they have that common em enemy. Now the Woos heavily outnumbered it shows in Brooklyn, and it's all happening in Brooklyn. Brooklyn's a big borough, it's got a lot of different neighborhoods with different factions controlling them. For example, Canarsie, that's the flaw, that's where Pop Smoke is from. Big Flatbush, Crystal. we all know that's Casanova, that's biggest Crystal. gangster out of Flatbush. Flatbush, that's a whole mixture. It's got Crips, Bloods, and Gangster Disciples. Disciples, GDs. The Gangster Disciples are basically against everybody. GDs in Brooklyn, ever spilled, niggas started to top off, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of drama in there, you know what I'm saying? So that being said, it's like... They're small in numbers, they stick together. Essentially, they make up like 90% of the Cho movement with a sprinkle of Crips and Bloods in there. See, gang affiliation really doesn't mean anything in New York because the Woos are made up of Bloods and, and crips, crips, and their main beef is basically GDs. against GDs. Big GDK, top nine. Now, the Ebbsfield Apartments in Brooklyn is like the stronghold for the GDs. It's been controlled and operated by them for Ooh. a long time, at least since the early 90s. They are right. direct descendants of the Gangster Disciples out of Chicago. Their leader was taken down in 2012 and sentenced to 20 years for racketeering, attempt murders, and gun raps. His crew was notorious for armed robberies. They did setups through Craigslist and, of course, shooting at rivals. One of their biggest being GS9. GS9, Bobby Schmurder. Bobby Schmurder, right. Those are the Ebbsfield apartments and some of the younger GDs jokingly saying free GS9, who they were in a big war with. He get out soon, don't he? Around 2014. Everybody's waiting for uh, Bobby to get out. The single biggest act in the country. He was the hottest artist in the city, taking over the airwaves. But with all that popularity, it's impossible not to draw attention to the shit that your crew is doing. Damn. And fans were oblivious. They had no idea what was going on behind the scenes. The New York police created a rap task force called the Enterprise Operations Unit. It's the same one that took down 6 9 Shadi, and Treyway who, with the nine Trey Bloods, were affiliated with Wu, 6 9 Bro, don't give all... Bro, the feds get no credit for for um, taking down... Um, uh, what was the name? Treyway. 6 9 did that, bro. 6 9 did all that, bro. He... Like, of course the feds, you know, the feds are the ones that get the dub at the end of the day. But 6 9 was the one that told on everybody. Let's just be real. 
Klein, of course, was the pivotal witness who turned state in that case, brought down everybody. They also had wiretaps and informants in place for years gathering right. intel. The rap task force also took down GS9 and Bobby Shmurda several years back in a very public case with like a 63-page indictment. There were Ooh. phone taps, informants, guns and drug possession, guns jamming while shooting at ops on the block. Bobby shooting into a crowd. Bobby shooting at his own homies who owed him three hundred dollars. Shooting at rival gangs. It was reckless. Bobby's own lyrics directly implicated several GS9 members in crimes they would get convicted for, but the lyrics themselves could not be used in court and was ultimately shut down by the Supreme Court. See, bro, this is what I be, bro. This is what I be saying all the time, bro. Y'all, y'all be out here doing dirt and then immediately going to the studio and rapping about it, bro. Come on now. Come on now. Nevertheless, the hottest movement out of New York taken down. And while Bobby was standing trial, a high-ranking GS9 member's body was found on the Brooklyn beach wrapped in plastic bags with duct tape on his face and over 100 pounds of cement covering his feet. Straight Italian mafia shit. This kid's name was Peter Martinez. Allegedly, he owed a lot of people money. He went missing for three weeks. And investigators say that the perps basically put his feet into buckets and poured cement in, trying to sink his body. But the job was not done correctly, and they let air in, and his body floated to the surface. When Rowdy and Bobby got locked up... See, that's different, bro. That's different, different, bro. That, like he said, that's just like how the mafia do stuff, bro. He went missing for three weeks, and investigators say that the perps basically put his feet into buckets and poured cement in, trying to sink his body. But the job was not done correctly, and they let air in, and his body floated to the surface. When Rowdy and Bobby got locked up, the GDs in Ebbisfield took advantage and started dominating the music shit with this rap click called the Blickies. They X out the C in the name Blickies because they CK. beefed with GS9 and the G-Stone Crips. And at that time, the Chicago drill wave had just ended. So New York took that energy, imported those drill beats from the UK, and made Brooklyn Drill. And before anyone outside of New York knew who Pop Smoke or the rest of the Wu rappers were, it was the Chos who had the strong movement with the Blickies. Kodak Black was out there in Brooklyn often with the Blickies, showing them love early on. Oh, the Blickies, the Blickies, the Blickies. Oh, Blickies. Sniper Blickies, man. Blickies and Sniper. Sniper. Yo, what's your look up? Right? Yeah, gang, gang. Now, Kodak even signed 22G's, the general Blicky, to a label deal, basically solidifying the Chos in the music industry. 22G's came out with the song Suburban, which did really well, but it led to a bunch of diss track responses, notably the direct diss track response from Chef G called No Suburban, which overtook the original in popularity. Of course, Chef G is a crip from Flatbush. His crew has been warring with GDs for quite some time, as is the trend in New York right now. And Chef G himself got into fights with his ops at the courthouse. As y'all can see in the video, your boy ran up and got punched up. Him and, and it was two of them, both of them. Punch both of them. Boop, 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 boop. Your boy ran up and got <laughs> <laughs> You got paws like that, huh? Punch both of them. Punch both of them. Boop, 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 boop. Your boy ran up and got done up in court. How you gonna run up and get done up on your own life? And he got into a big brawl with one of the most popular members of the Blickies named Nick Blicky, who actually stabbed Chef G in the head. Hey, yo. Tune in, tune in. Everybody tune in. Everybody tune in. Everybody tune in. This is... This, this is too much. <laughs> this is too much now. Now, Nick Blicky himself had a lot of songs bubbling in the underground with 4 million views, 2 million views. Like, his career was getting hot, but he was also getting into shootouts with Woos in Brooklyn. For whatever reason, he couldn't just focus on his career. And just four months ago, unfortunately, Nick Blicky was killed. 443 breaking news out of Brooklyn where a popular rapper was shot and killed overnight. Nick Blixie was uh, discovered with gunshot wounds Blixie. on Wilson Street. Tributes poured in from the hip hop world on social media for the Jamaican American artist. Just hours after he posted to IG that he was dropping his first official tape in June, he got shot in the upper body and in the ass with a shotgun seven times. And the Whoa. video of his body just laying in the streets of Brooklyn, surrounded by police. It's, it's tragic. It all happened. He got busted by a shotgun seven times, B? That's all bad. See, this is one thing, bro, about being a rapper. You're not going to be a cool rapper if you're not affiliated with someone and you're not just talking about somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You, that's, that's one thing about the rap game. You know what I'm saying? You got a few people that, 
are pumping that don't affiliate themselves with people like, I mean, Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, it's like every single popping artist is affiliated with some type of gang, bro. And the music definitely nowadays is always talking about shooting somebody, robbing somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really sad. It's really sad. It's not even it's not even an art anymore. Like the bars are basically always the same. It's always the same. Sad. No cap. It happened four blocks away from where he lived in Flatbush. Immediately, the Woos took to social media to clown his death. Rest in peace, uh, Nick Blicky. Who just got killed? Yeah, man, shit is crazy. And then and now guys is online laughing at each other's death. Like this shit is not cool, man. Facts, like, bro. Man. See, he's spitting facts right there, bro. Like somebody, somebody get uh, smoked, bro. Somebody die, and then next thing you know, you see a diss track getting uploaded by somebody, like basically just disrespecting that person's death, bro. Like. How much, how deep does it really got to be for you to, you know what I'm saying, do that? Like, like somebody's already dead. Like, whatever, whatever problem you have with them is no more. So, for you to then just go out and make a diss track, you know what I'm saying? It's, from my perspective, bro, that's just foul. Especially, like, with the FBG Duck um, track, uh... Exposing me, bro. The disrespect in that, bro. That was just that was paramount disrespect. That's like the pinnacle of disrespectful. Like he named, bro. I promise you, he named at least like thirty or forty different names. And like he was saying stuff like, "Oh, I wish I was there when uh some somebody got smoked. I would have just ran him over. Like I would have backed my car up and ran him over." Like. Like, that's, why does it need to be that disrespectful? Like, we all can agree that music is supposed to bring people together, but why is it now changing to where it's like, you you release music disrespecting somebody's dead homies, and now you got people all around the world singing it, bro. Listening to it, bumping it in their car. You're getting paid for the streams, bro. Just because you can, you disrespecting people, bro. That's just, that's foul. That's really foul. You shouldn't be no cap. And, and talking about dancing on each other's graves. These are Facts. rappers that are from the same borough, too. Like, like this shit is ridiculous, man. Of course, the NYPD monitored everything people were saying on socials. Quote, without question, these are people of interest to us, right? That's directly from the NYPD because they watch everything. And the very next day, Wu neighborhoods like in Brownsville, Canarsie, and Flatbush were targeted for retaliation by the GDs. It was three days in a row of violence. Three Wu members were killed in that week alone. See, Nick Blicky was beloved, right? He had a pretty big following. Even the gangster disciples in Chicago were paying respects to him. People like FPG Duck, rest in peace, and other FPG folks were listening to his music on IG Live. He's even got a song with Duck, so the gangster disciple tie is strong from New York to Chicago. And now the Wu rappers are matching that energy with Fabio Foreign going to Chicago, 264th and King Drive, the mecca of the King Von, Disciple War, right. and basically making a music video with King Von. From O Block. He's got beef with all the GDs in Chicago, extremely GDK. Love it here. Oh shit, GDK. I feel like, like GDK heaven. Now, as for the future of Brooklyn Drill, Pop Smoke is still one of the highest selling artists in America. He's the face of the drill movement even after his passing. Fabio is next in line, but he's got big boots to fill with Pop Smoke's legacy. The fact that his car got shot up a couple months ago in Atlanta is not good news. This year, Bobby Shmurda was supposed to touch ground in December after six years being behind bars, but his parole was denied. Unfortunately, he will not be coming home until 2021. Now, the Cho's are still applying pressure. But Bobby Shmurda is going to be a problem when he get out, bruh. He going to be a problem when he get out. The tracks are going to be vicious. The tracks are going to be vicious. Recently had a big internal drama with Coach the Ghost disowning one of their top rappers, MV Kane, saying he can no longer be GD. Poison is eliminated from the truth. Ain't why that's GDK. It's none of that. It's none of that. It's no, you're not playing no GDK, GDK games. No way. 
of my time and disrespect. So he's not alone to me, but let us know what's, what's, what's the facts. Let us know. Basically, Kane's been out in Atlanta. His hotel room got robbed. His Instagram hacked. YouTube took down all his music with millions and millions of views deleted and the hackers when they got his Instagram they put up a bunch of disrespectful stuff towards GDs I don't think that's why he got kicked out of the shows but people were saying he was causing too much beef too much drama so they disowned him but yeah man that's the Brooklyn drill scene let me know in the comments what you guys want me to cover next if you're new make sure you subscribe with notifications on I like how in depth this video is I, I like I like I like how in depth this video is, bro. It's like it it's really interesting to really know like the the back background of it, cause like I heard the chose and the woos, but I didn't know it was like that, like that. You know what I mean? But again, like I'm saying, it's just like nowadays rap took the fattest turn. Like um, I I know me and uh. Somebody I rock with heavy was uh we was talking about it months ago. And I was like, bro, you can literally hear the difference in style in the bars and the beats. You can hear the message change as the years go by and go by, bro. And it's like now all the songs you hear that come out now, if it's not anything gangster, bro, it's, it's about women, bro. And it honestly just lost it's losing its it's losing its savor bro it's it's losing its flavor like it's so it it's honestly sad to see so much hatred being poured out now you know and it's just it's so hard to be different actually like when i it's like it's it's like it's so hard for people to be different. I, let me rephrase that. It's not hard to be different. You just have to be yourself. But I I, I don't. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. This video is dope. I, I really like the fact that it was so in depth about what's what's actually going on and and why. You know what I'm saying. So I'm a, I'm gonna get this video a ten out of ten. I feel like there should be more videos like this. Actually, I'm gonna subscribe to the dude's channel just in case he got some more. Uh, some more content, but yeah, bro, this, yeah, that's different. Definitely different. So if y'all like this video, make sure y'all get in the comment section down below. Let me know what y'all think of this video. Um, also hit that subscribe button if you rock with the channel. Let me know what y'all want me to react to next, and I'm gonna get at y'all next time. Peace out.